I just realized that I didn't answer a question that might be burning in your brain after watching the video on life insurance, where we talk about term life and whole life. Because in whole life, we talk about the scenario that you can pay this premium your entire life, and in the event, and you can just, you know, all the way until the day you die, and so when you die, your family will definitely get the payoff. So they will definitely get the 500K upon your death. And we also talked about the scenario that if any time before that you decide, hey, I don't need life insurance anymore, you can stop paying your premium. Your family won't get the death benefit in the situation that you were to die, but you would get the cash payout or whatever's left after the insurance company has taken their fees and, and, and set aside some for the insurance component of what they're selling you. But the question that you might ask, well, when you die, what happens to the cash amount? Because before you die, you can you can cash it out. If you die, you definitely get the payoff, but what happens to the cash amount? And the the answer there is you don't get it. You don't get it. It's kind of viewed as part of it's kind of viewed as what's backing up your death benefit. And what's kind of unfortunate if for whatever reason this cash amount is even larger than the death benefit maybe you're you know you live unusually long amount of time you live 50 years and you're paying you're uh, you're paying or you live to 90 so you're living 50 years from the day that you start the policy so you pay an or you pay $250,000 but you have to remember compound interest you're getting uh, you're getting returns on that year after year year maybe this cash payout becomes six hundred thousand dollars when you when you when you accrue all of the interest and everything else in it. Regardless of that fact, although this would be kind of a silly thing for you to do, regardless of that fact, if you were to die, your family would only get the five hundred thousand dollars. Which really makes you ask the question, if you know that your cash payout is larger than the amount that is going to be paid off if you die, the best thing is to just stop paying the premium and get the cash payout and give that to your family rather than waiting around to die. Because this is worse in two ways. One, you you die. And in the second way, you're actually getting less money. But just to answer your question, in the event of your death, your family does not see the, this. They don't see the savings portion. They only they only get this payout right over